lock more into a room than they can. Uh, and that's when you get hard up and you feel like a hobbit. Uh, and this is not going to work for you. You need space. It, it affects your emotions. It affects your, your heart rate. It affects how you feel throughout the day. You also need proper ergonomics on your seating. And a lot of people believe that if they spend a little bit of money on a chair, uh, they're going to get what they need. But the point is, you spend upwards of eight hours sitting down. Uh, you spend your money on your mattress. You spend your money on your car. You should also spend your money on your seating and your furniture. It's what you have to live with. And it's what is the new trend in office furniture? Uh, the new trends, oh wow. The, the newest trends are going towards benching uh, for for work areas. Instead of benching? a family desk. Yes, we actually have it on display at the TIC show. Uh, we're at the front pavilion. Uh, we have a local benching system. It's manufactured and designed right here in Trinidad. And, uh -huh. and uh, benching takes the walls down. A lot of people bought cubicles from the, the mid-70s, mm -hmm. the invention of the cubicle. Uh, people had walls around them and kept separation and that helped. But benching is a European style and it allows much more collaboration and communication between offices. When I think benching, what is it? Just seating arrangements or is it like you break down, you have lower uh, cubicle, cubicle spaces? You have multiple levels. You have, you have low storage, you have high storage, you have a high work surface, you have a low work surface. Uh, and it allows you to uh, put your knickknacks and put your papers in the right places so you don't have to overreach all of the exertive muscles throughout the day. A lot of people don't think that working in an office can actually strain you, but it can. So uh, the small muscles in your neck and your shoulders and your legs and varicose veins, all that stuff. I now know why I'm so stressed. Ooh, you work a lot, I can tell. Um, but also, yeah, it must be that. Um, colors, what are the colors that you use? Know, because it's funny, like I look at this and when I walked in, I thought, I didn't know that MDCUM did these kind of these kind of chairs, and they're beautiful chairs, and they're very fashionable chairs. Uh, fashion and color schemes for offices, how important is that? Uh, it's very important. Color affects your emotion, uh, and things like red are very exciting. Things like gray and blue are a little bit more calming. Uh, lighting is also very effective on you. Uh, the amount of light coming in uh, can actually make you feel ill if it's too low. So you need the right amount of lighting, you need the right amount of sunlight, you need the right type of color for your mood understanding that it's color, looking at practicality, um, and furniture that's compact versus the antique style of furniture, you know, because I was joking that my fiance has massive oak desk on his yes. But that's a lot of, a lot of uh, people think that that is a symbol of uh, important offices. Well, style symbols change just as style and trends do. Uh, but what happens is uh, some people still love the big heavy furniture and that's still available on the market. Uh, but those things have gotten very expensive over the years. Uh, you have forestation issues and replanting of trees. Uh, that is a very important uh, trend uh, that people think is a trend, but it's something that really takes 50 to 100 years to replenish. So a lot of people have gone to more light scale desking to save the raw materials, but also some people like more modern. They like sharp styles, they like minimalism. Okay. And Wood versus uh, transparent surfaces. Uh, things like glass and yeah. so on. Uh, glass is fun. I actually have a glass desk myself at work. I always wanted a glass desk at work. Come see me. It, it's Mommy, I'm writing on but you. Glass desks, uh, mm -hmm. if you're a very uh, enthusiastic person, glass desks might not be the best thing for you. <laughs> uh, but uh, they are available. You can go wood, you can go laminate, you can go uh, reconstituted wood, veneers. I mean, there's so many options. Furniture seems boring on the outside, but it's actually very exciting. Listening to Anthony talk about his job, you can swear that he's a rock star. Uh, <laughs> but check out MDCUM there. Uh, Kurt, and they gave us our set this morning, so thank you so much for that. But they're coming, and um, they will be here for the next couple of days. We're coming to you live from the Trade and Investment Convention. It kicks off today at 10.30 a.m. It is the region's biggest uh, business community business event and just in case you're wondering about the TTM, they provide a number of services, democracy, research, trade facilitation, business sophistication, 